Hello everybody. Um, it's time I did a, a bit of spring tidying up on these birch uh, no wire fusion uh, root over rock projects. For uh, well, mainly for the reason I'm going to show you in a second. But I'm going to start with these two. Um, we've had a bit of dieback over winter of a couple of trees, um, particularly on this one. Not so much on this one. So. Let's start by just having a look at this one here, first of all. Okay, most of the dieback on this one is just at the ends, um, at the very tips of the growth, which is good. So there's a dead branch there, which can come off. I'm basically just going to be chopping this back quite firmly. Um, to get lots of back budding and hopefully fusion. Only time will tell. This is all a bit of an experiment. Uh, no idea whether it'll even work, but just a bit of fun to while away the, the days really. So yeah, another dead bit just there. Okay, so that's it. Um, I will take some of the surface soil away, um, add some fertilizer, and re top dress, but otherwise, that's all for that one. This one is actually a bit more complex because some of the dead stuff is in the middle of the tree. Um, I might have to just try and snip pieces out and some of it may not be as dead as it looks. That piece is definitely dead. Um, and that goes all the way back down to there. Which is a shame because it had appeared to be trying to fuse but so that's dead. Do the thumbnail test. That piece is still living. That piece is still living, although it looks, it doesn't look alive, I'll be honest with you. But the thumbnail test tells me different. So, again, I'm just going to chop back some more of this um, with the same proviso. Lots of back budding, giving us some growth. Take off these pieces that aren't going anywhere at the moment. And uh, you'll see, as I say, I have no idea whether you can fuse trees in this manner. Well, I know you can. I know people do it with ficuses and things. I have no idea if it can be done with a birch. But I'm going to enjoy trying. Again, I shall scrape away some surface soil and uh, apply top, top dressing of some fertilizer and some fresh soil. And then that tree's all set up for the spring. Which leads us to this one, which had a crack in it, or the pot rather had a crack in it. And I don't know whether it's the tree that has grown um, and has forced the pot to crack, or whether frost got into it. We did have some cold nights. Um, but either way, the pot has smashed and uh, it is heavily root bound. So. I'm going to have to do a kind of emergency repot on this one and uh, again there may be some dead, there may not be. Anyway, let's get my tray and we'll see if we can't rescue what is alive. Okay so I mean it's so root bound, I think trying to comb it out is going to be I suppose it's not impossible, but by the same token, uh, these roots aren't completely gripping the rock as yet, so I don't want to remove too much. So I'm just going to slice in from the sides so that I can get it back into a pot. Um, 
give it some roots, give its roots some room to grow. That's about as much as I'm going to take off. I really don't want the rock to move and come adrift whilst the roots aren't holding it tightly. Now let's just try the new pot, see if the tree will fit. Okay, so it's uh, identical size and shape to the original pot so it should fit relatively easily and yet it doesn't want to perhaps it is a slightly smaller pot That's a fool in my eye maybe but even though I took this, the extra soil off the sides um, the tree didn't want to fit in. That's better. It must be. It must be a few millimetres smaller. So we will put in some soil. Just a thin layer for the tree to sit on. That's not bad. A little bit more. And then I can squish it round to make sure that the flat base of the soil um, is in firm, firm contact with the bonsai soil underneath. And then we'll just fill in around the sides. That's why I was talking to someone about the need to repot and um, trying to explain to them that it's not some kind of weird voodoo science practice that's really complicated and difficult I and mean, it really is a question of you know i guess it's been mysterious eyes is that even a word um to a certain extent amongst the gardening fraternity uh you know it's this mysterious art from the mysterious east which kind of went along with an inherent form of Racism, I guess you could call it, in some way, you know, some way it's just like, oh, they, they do things a bit strange over there. Um, but when you hear people on gardening programs talk about repotting you know, a rose in a pot, I heard a guy talking on a gardening show, and you, you know, you put it out of the pot and you trim some of its roots, and you put it back in the pot with some fresh soil. Um, and then later in the same show, he was asked a question about bonsai. And he said he hated bonsai because it was an unnatural practice. And I thought, well, what are you doing with your roses, guy? You prune them. You've just talked about pulling it out of the pot um, and cutting its roses so it can stay healthy in the pot. You're just talking about the same practices and you don't even realise it. So, anyway, that was just my, my thoughts on that. So we'll work this soil around the sides. Um, and then we'll trim the top a bit. Okay, so I'm going to tr just trim all of those branches back. Uh, about a third. This one I'm going to remove entirely. Uh, shorten that back. Shorten that. Take that thin piece off. Um, shorten that. That piece is dead, I believe. Yes, it is. And that goes all the way back to there. The question is, can I get it out? Um, well, I can snap that bit off. That was relatively easy. Um,
Okay, so that's that. And that piece I might even try and tie in at a later date. I wish I'd cut it just a little bit longer. Can you cut things longer? You know, oh, there you are. It's going to sit there like so. So that's good. Um, take that piece off. Shorten that back to that bud. And that's it for that tree. Obviously I added some fertiliser. I don't think I actually filmed that bit. But otherwise it's actually beginning to look like these grew over the rock as opposed to against the rock I think. As I say, just a fun experiment. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please do look after yourselves. Stay safe.